happy morning to one and all present here. Uh, today we are going to see on the topic of charismatic leadership. A uh, leader is a person who is going to influence the subordinates and is going to mold the quality of the individual and through that the productivity of the organization will be increased. So among the various leadership styles, today we are going to see on the charismatic leadership. The, the term charismatic has been derived uh, from the Asian times. Uh, the term uh, leadership, uh, charismatic, is a Greek word which means a gift. It is a God gifted quality of the leader. Um, the great man theory is the first theory of the leadership. This theory is also based on God gifted quality. Body. So the leader. From the charismatic leadership, we can uh, we can say that the leaders will have an inborn quality to influence the behavior of the others. So the leaders is born and not made. That is a concept of charismatic leader. While I am going to apply a charismatic leadership style in an organization, this assumption has to be hold true. The first one, it is an inborn leadership quality. All the people doesn't have this quality. Only few will have this quality. This quality will influence the subordinates' behavior, and they are not required to uh, uh, to uh, get it more. This quality itself sufficient for them, and they are not going to uh, get more through their education and training. And the situational factor doesn't have influence here. Characteristics of the charismatic leader. As the first characteristics is of vision and articulation. So vision is an important everyone hold it off. This vision is based on long term goals of the organization, and they will able they are wants to uh, bring it as a acceptable one, and it is being followed by all the leaders. And yeah, this leader will take some risk. This personal risk will not take by all the people. But only these type of leaders will take a personal risk and willing to sacrifice and do something benefit for the others. And we have seen so many for leaders in the world. They are sacrificing for their personal life, and they are taking a personal risk, and they are doing something best for the society. In the same way. These charismatic leaders in the organization will not care about them. They will care about their employees' benefits. And the third characteristic of sensitivity to followers' need. They are give uh, feelings uh, and needs of the response. Give importance. They give the importance to the needs and feelings of the uh, subordinates. They try to fill the needs of the Every individual, and they will have the unconventional behavior. This behavior, usually conventional behavior, is a applicable but for all the people, and they will do the uh, common uh, behavior which is uh, followed by all the people. But unconventional behavior is something different. They will try to do which is different from others, but they will execute it, and they will do the miracles in for their. Sub uh, subordinates uh, interest next we are going to see on the process of charismatic leaders it starts with the envision so the vision is a foremost one how the organization has the vision mission goal purpose likewise the leader will also have some vision this vision is based on the organizational needs also this envisioning is based on the creating of or formulating something which is not early is there and they try to formulate a vision for the benefits of the all the people it can be a subordinate and it is for the organization also once this ambition is been ready the preparation of vision statement the second process starts here whatever i have formulated i will try to convert in thinking into action words putting in a concrete way something uh, with the, uh, with something uh, 
putting in a framing for the my mission. So N mission is somewhat different and preparation of the mission statement is different. Based on N mission, the preparation of mission statement will be prepared by the charismatic leader. Once this statement is ready with some wordings, with the definable, with the boundary words, everything if it is ready, it has to be communicated. That is consists of third step of charismatic leader. We are putting the vision in the form of statement which is made understandable by the employees and they will communicate to the employees. Once it is communicated, they will check whether they have understand, whether it has been possible to execute everything they will cross check it off. They will clarify any, any block or any hindrances they, they try to co cover it. Once this communication is over, the, the last stage is of is an important part of the charismatic leader is of en engaging in emotion induced. Emotionally, they started to induce the behavior of the individuals of the uh, em that is employees and ma make them to implement it. Off. So the charismatic leader uh, doesn't have the, the common followers or a, uh, the, the very they won't involve in a common work. They will do the extraordinary, which it cannot be possible to do by the normal team. And they try to uh, make an employee to do it off. So they will demonstrate the courage, and convince the people about the vision, how to execute it. So this emotion inducing is a very important task of the charismatic leader. Once this is succeed, the leader become a, uh, a sustained charismatic leader forever. So the employees also accept it. And they become a role model for every employee's the organization. So to, today we have seen what is a charismatic leader, who is a charismatic leader. If I want to become a charismatic leader, what are all the assumptions I have to hold it? And the basic characteristics of the charismatic leader. And we have seen the, the last topic, the process of charismatic leaders. So we have learned something today. Thank you.